Okay, you guys. So it is. What time is it? It's 2.30 in the morning. It's very foggy in here because we just had showers. Okay, so. Oh, my eyebrows leaving fast. It's 2.30 in the morning, you guys. And I am just now going to bed. I am just now going to bed at 2.30 in the morning. Y'all, today was a very... My hair has got wet from that shower because it's so wild. First of all, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna explain to y'all in a minute why I'm on here and I'm only wrapped in a towel, okay? What? Huh? I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. It ain't like that. Hey, Miss Davis. But y'all, so today was my day for my video shoot. We came eight hours away to shoot the music video. So, okay, my husband was on call, right? He was on call. He was supposed to switch with one of his employees. Hey, Auntie Drill. It's 3.32. He was supposed to switch with an employee, but a situation happened to where they wind up switching later than expected. Causing us to get on the road at what time? 8 p.m.? 9 p.m.? 10 p.m.? We made it here about 5.30 this morning. After making it here at 5.30 this morning, hey, we were coming to stay with one of my friends. When we got here, it was so early, my friend was still in bed, okay? My friend was still in bed. So, my friend's still in bed. We go to a family member's house. Sitting in the parking lot of the family member's house, the truck battery just dies out of nowhere. So, I'm assuming it needs another battery. But anyway, the truck dies out of nowhere. Hey, Jen. So, we call the family member, ask the family member, you know, to come outside and help us. He wakes up, goes back to sleep. Okay. Hey, Miss Phillips. Thank you, Miss Beauty. So, y'all, we sitting outside waiting for a boost off. After waiting and waiting and waiting, almost 45 minutes, I just come to a realization that he's not going to come outside and help us right now because he probably went back to sleep. So, I called, my friend finally called back that we were originally supposed to stay with. And he came and gave us a boost off. So now, once we make it to his house and I take a shower, it's now 8 o'clock. Okay, 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, hey, Miss uh, Robinson, it's now 8 o'clock. So, the video shoot starts at 12 p.m. Okay, video shoot starts at 12 p.m. I'm supposed to get my hair done at 10. Okay. Hairstylist doesn't make it until 11-ish. Like 10.50. Okay. So now I'm at like two, what, two hours of sleep. Two, three hours of sleep. She makes it there. Videographer gets there. Um, I'm not sure the turnaround time is Davis. I'm going to make sure I let you guys know. But I know it's like a two-week max. Um, okay, so videographer pulls up at 11.50. I'm still getting hair done. My first scene is ready to go calling like, hey, where you at? It's time to start shooting. So now I'm running out the door. I'm putting makeup on in the car. Start shooting my scenes, right? I'm supposed to have A, B, and C to participate and, and, sh and play certain parts in the video. This person isn't here, that person isn't here, okay? Videographer has another video behind mine, so he is pressed for time, okay? So now I have to like figure out a better concept or come up with a different concept to bring this visual to my standards you know to, to to create this visual 
Keep in mind, it's 96 degrees, right? It's extremely hot. Did a lot of scenes outside, right? So, boom. Long story short, after waiting on people, after me going live, asking my followers on Facebook. I love you more, Miss Love. After going live, asking my followers on Facebook, if they are around this area and wants to be in my music <coughs> video, I need help with actors because people aren't showing up. Um, hit me up and I can find a spot for you. Long story short, we it takes us four hours to shoot this music video. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, my hair is freezy now, my makeup is just melting everywhere. I'm extremely hot. I haven't ate a thing because I've just been on go mode, right? So I go back to my friend's house to cool off for one. Just to cool off and, you know, probably take me a power nap or something because, like I said, I'm still up moving around on two hours of sleep. And now it is, what, 4 o'clock? What, 4 o'clock p.m.? The kids? No, I'm saying when I got done. Oh, yeah, it was like 4. Right, Miss Kendall, we should. We was we were just talking about that actually. What? The portable battery charger. I thought you were just on there watching. I am. Okay, so hey Auntie Drea. So um I'm sorry, honey, but I'm just a little frustrated, Auntie Drea. But um, what was I? Okay, so now it's it's four PM. I'm up till four PM. I haven't had breakfast nor lunch. I'm extremely hot. And my kids are like, Mom, you know, you do have children. Are you going to come and see us now that you're in town? And I'm like, yeah, of course I'm coming to see you. But, you know, I came here to take care of some business. I had to shoot my video first. So now Elijah is like, Mom, where's my bike? Carlos is like, Mom, did you bring me some extra clothes? Audrey, I mean, Jeremiah is like, Mom, did you grab this shoe or that shoe? Blase, blase. Okay. So, Woods is like, he's hungry because, like I said, no one has eaten anything. So, I said, okay, let's go and get some food. Let's go and get some food. Let's go and see the children. Meanwhile, I had a session at the studio tonight at 9 p.m. Okay. Then my mom asked me, hey, I need you to go and pick up your daughter from work. So, of course, how can I say no? I'm not going to pick up my own child from work. So, yes, I'm going to go and pick her up from work. Get there. She takes an hour to come out. So, we're just sitting outside the parking lot waiting. But we were eating though while we were waiting. When we got our food, I went. I went to the kids first. Took them their bikes, their clothes, and all the stuff that they wanted. Okay, thank you, Miss Davis. Took them all the stuff that they, that they wanted, and um, went to her job. Waited for her to get off of work. Okay, boom. She comes out now. Is what eight fifty? Eight fifty? Because like I said, we we leave the video shoot at four. We go on cool, we leave, we make it back on, on the other side of town, but what, about 4.30, 4.45? Once everybody said their goodbyes and all of that, we chill for like an hour and a half to cool off in the house, you know, just sit back and take a breather. We come back out at what, 6.30? 6.30-ish, 7 o'clock, something like that? I don't know, yeah, I want to see it. I got to watch the video a couple times to make sure that it's how I want it first. So I don't want to say this day, and then when I get it, I don't like it, and I have to send it back. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so now we drop her off, go to the studio. Okay, everybody laughing, chilling. At this point, I'm extremely tired because I haven't, I have, I didn't even go back to sleep when we went back to the house to cool off to like catch our breath. I didn't. Yeah, I got it. He well, he got a nap in. Woods got a nap in. Okay, so we go to the studio at nine. We were late. We leave the studio at what twelve? About twelve a.m., eleven thirty, something like that. We left at like twelve o'clock midnight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already tired and really don't even feel like going into. The, I really didn't even feel like recording no music, to be honest. And so now I'm starting to have these thoughts like, okay, you know, I'm really sacrificing and risking it all to just really be like this awesome rapper or pop star, whatever the heck genre I'm going to eventually fit in. And it was just, I was just starting to feel like, okay, like if I was to really just explode, like become this, this A-list, B-list artist, 
you know, this is going to be the norm. You know, do this, go here, go there, go to the studio, do a show, go do a radio interview. You know, and I'm now I'm questioning myself, like, oh, my God, do I really want this? You know, like. So I start having all these crazy thoughts because now I'm, I'm really tired. I just want to sleep. Come back from the studio at midnight. I call my um, friend who we're, who we're staying with to let him know that we are on our way back to the house. Hey, Miss Henry. We get no answer. We get no answer. He's not at home. He didn't leave a key out, a door unlocked or anything. So I'm assuming because it has gotten so late, he has fallen asleep. So now we just riding around trying to figure out where we finna go. Right? So I'm like, boom, okay, let's try to just find us a room. Which we already had a certain budget. That's why if 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 getting a room was like an option for us, we would have originally chose that option. If getting a room was an option, we would have originally did it. But we were trying to save money by going that route to make sure we were good. We're getting back and blase blase. Like I'm not trying to just put y'all all deep into my business, but like I said, it wasn't on the schedule. Okay. So now it's 1 a.m. We have no clothes. We have nothing but just ourselves. I'm constantly calling, no answer. Sitting outside and, you know, we called a couple of friends, which I could have went to my parents' house and Woods could have went to his parents, to his parents' house. But uh, we really do not like to separate. Like we like to really stick together, especially when there's stuff like this going on. We like to stay with each other. And my my father isn't just fond of Woods, and Woods' mother already have some of some family members staying there. So I really didn't want to go there. So um, we called a couple of friends. Long story short, you guys, after constantly going to all these different hotels, which I do not understand why in the world all these hotels are booked on a Sunday, we finally find a hotel and I found two bars of soap in the back of the truck. I found two bars of soap and a bobby pin because I don't have my rollers. I don't have any mousse. I don't have a scarf because like I said, all of my clothes and everything is in my friend's house, locked, you know, locked in the house. So we just got the bars of soap and I took the bobby pin and twisted my hair up some type of way to where I was able to pin it in the back. And we have taken showers and just got in the bed with nothing and we're gonna have to just put our same clothes back on. Ah, <laughs> oh, and now it's two some in the morning and I'm just not getting in the bed and I'm still up off of two hours of sleep and I really wanted to go live today and let you guys kind of like see what was going on with me today with the video shoot. But I didn't want to like let you guys get any type of sneak peeks because I wanted to be a complete surprise. I'm very excited about it. But today was just a very, very, very long day. We were stuck in the truck this morning. Made us like a lot of rest. I've been ripping and running. And we were stuck in the truck again. What's well, not against the <laughs> So you guys, me and Wiz are in this little cheap motel that we found. Because somebody wanted $185. $185 for a hotel room. And I'm not even finna get 12 hours. No, uh-uh. I'm not giving you no 185 on a Sunday. And then I gotta be out of here by 11. No. I asked Wiz if he wanna sleep in the car. But, uh. <laughs> so he wanted 185 plus $100 deposit. 
Uh-uh. No. So, y'all, we in a rinky dink. Let me show y'all our rinky dink. This is, y'all see, our, we, we at the, the little trap joint, like, we at the little rinky dink hotel. Y'all know, anytime they got these type of spreads, y'all know what's going on. We did check the sheets, though. I didn't see no sign of bed bugs or no crab or nothing like that, but, and you see, you see my bag, ain't it real, that I got at Dee Dee's? I think it was like $29. I was showing you that I had found one that matched some shoes you had got me. But yeah, it's not that bad. It's it's clean. It's decent. You know, it's decent. Yeah, so I mean, we're just making the best of it. It like trust me, if it would have looked like if I would have saw any type of, you know, cannabis residue or crack pipes or anything like that, then no. But we don't have any clothes. We don't have so I'm just letting y'all know if y'all see me with the same clothes on tomorrow, that is the reason why we got the, I'm gonna have the same clothes on tomorrow because that's what I gotta put on. And then my friend has to go to work at seven o'clock in the morning. So that's why I'm pretty sure he's asleep because Miss Friday said, Hey Uncle Woods, um just inbox me, Miss Davis. So um say hey Woods. Wood, I think Woods is asleep already. Y'all know he, he don't take long to go to sleep. Right. Right. So, like I said, I'm not complaining. I'm just letting y'all know what kind of happened today. Why I'm just so blah today. Like, I'm so blah today. So. But, I mean... I still got it done. We still got the video shot. I don't know what time my friend is going to get off of work tomorrow to let me in to get the rest of my stuff. So hopefully not too late because um, I don't want to, you know, take too long to get back on the road after pay. So... <sighs> I'm just relieved because when we was riding around, I was like, babe, we can't just keep riding around. We can't we can't just be out here. We got to figure something out. And I just thank God so much that we did. We was able to find something and, you know, pull it off. Y'all see how he just sleep with his phone? He holding anything. So, y'all, I'm not going to hold y'all long because, like I said, right now, I'm still operating off of two hours of sleep. I got this thing over here on my nightstand. Cocked. On safety. And y'all be looking for the new video. Because, y'all, that was a long... Ooh, baby, when I tell you... There was a long video. When I tell y'all, I had to really be quick on my toes. When I was in a situation where I didn't know what to do next, when this person went here, that person went there, and the videographer is looking at me like, okay, Bling, what's next? Because, I, you know, we can't be taking too much, you know, can't be spending this much time on the video. And then he had a video shoot tomorrow with Gucci. Um, You can email me with Gucci Man. So... We had to take care of it today, but y'all, every time I got lost, I just asked God to talk to me. I was like, come on, talk to me now, God. Talk to me now, God. Help me. Help me. Let me, let me feed this out now. And he did. So, I'm going to listen to my Bible. I did. Thank God I had my charge in my purse. I had my charge. I found some soap. I don't have any deodorant. I don't have any deodorant, and I don't have... Any lotion? I don't think I got no lotion. This so I probably have to shake the truck down again tomorrow. Cause like I said, I don't know what time he's gonna get off work tomorrow to let me in in to get my stuff, our stuff. But I'm pretty sure I can find a Dollar Tree. Y'all know I'm a Dollar Tree queen. Um, it's L A D D Y B L I N G G. It's Lady Bling at gmail.com. But the lady has two D's. And the bling has two G. So just email me, honey bun. But anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate you guys. I wish I could have showed you guys more of this journey, which I did start vlogging this journey, but I didn't finish it. Because when I started getting so frustrated and didn't know whether to, whether to go left or right, the last thing I was thinking about was picking up the phone to record. 
I am Miss Love. After today, I said that, that I will forever have an emergency bag in my car. I promise you. I love you. Good night, Miss Auntie Drea. But I promise you, this will never happen again. After today, I'm going to get on point. I'm going to get right. I'm going to get right. But anyway, y'all get some rest. And I love y'all.